Hey guys, my name is Steven. Welcome to another video in the tutorial series where I'm building a register login registration system uh, for a website using CodeIgniter, which is a PHP framework. Um, before I actually get on to building out the login views, like I said I would in the last video, there's two things that I forgot to do um, with the mod rewrite. We actually need to, with the mod rewrite and the database class. Um, the first thing that I forgot to do is uh, actually configure if you go into the config folder in the application and the con config file, we actually need to change this index page. Um, we need to delete index.php out of here and then save it. Um, this is important just because uh, when we actually have this mod rewrite, we'll have we'll be getting errors and things like that later on, unless we get rid of this right away. Which is pro it's good practice to get rid of this if you're going with the mod rewrite technique of URLs. Um, the second thing that I didn't show you how to do is actually configure the database using CodeIgniter um, and, and the database class. So uh, why don't we actually auto-load the, the database, the database uh, library and go down to Libraries and Database. And while we're at it, we might as well also uh, load sessions, the session library as well. So we'll save this. We'll be using sessions later on, so just trust me. Um, next, we'll actually go into the config folder, and there's the database.php in here. This is where we're going to enter our information about uh, where the where the MySQL server is. So um, why don't we go to our MySQL server? What I will do is I'll grab this. Um, if you... Yeah, okay. Grab this number right here for me. For yours, it'll probably be different. My username will be uh, user tutorial, and the database I'm connecting to is also user tutorial. And my password, I cleverly thought of a little foobard uh, version of password because, you know, you guys can know this. I'm not actually worried about you guys hacking my super secret, you know, after. This tutorial series is over it's not going to matter to me at all so um, so that's the password of my of my database your username is not always the same as your database the database is actually like over here the database that you're connecting to which will have the tables in it the username will be the username that you're connecting to the database with and the password will be the password obviously host name um, a lot of the times it's just localhost in my case it'll be these numbers so we'll save this and then if we just run our installation of of CodeIgniter, if we if we get errors, okay, there is okay, we have a session class and we're required to set an encryption key for the, in the con config file. Okay, um, let's not auto load sessions for now then, because I want to show you guys um, encryption keys in another video. Okay, refresh this, perfect. So we're not getting any errors, which means it is successfully connecting to the MySQL database. Um, and we're good to go there. Okay, um, so why don't we actually go ahead and start building this, uh, building our first login view uh, with a form helper. So the first thing we'll do is auto load the form helper because in just about every view um, we're actually using the form helper. We'll also auto load the URL helper because we'll, we want to use that too eventually. Um, Next thing we'll do is we'll go into the welcome controller and we're actually just going to copy all of this and then rename the file. We'll, I usually rename my main controller main but obviously in bigger projects you want to separate and name these more applicable but this is a very small project so we just have one main controller. Open it up and then just rename uh, the class to main with a capital M and then we'll save it. Next I can exit over this. I guess I didn't actually need to copy that. Um, perfect. And then the view that I want to load instead of welcome underscore message will be login. And then why don't we actually create that view. So we'll just open up welcome message, copy it, and then rename it. Again, I don't think I needed to copy it. <laughs> login.php. Rename it to login.php, open it up. 
I'll cool go to this other one. Perfect. And I just want a really basic looking um, uh, login login sheet login form, so it's not actually going to be it's not going to look super nice. Um, I'm going to just call this login page. Get rid of all of this. And we'll just leave this uh, container with the H1. So login. We'll save it. And now we'll just check. Refresh this. OK, so it's, it actually can't find the welcome controller. Get rid of this. And again, um, right, this is because our default controller is still set to the welcome controller, which doesn't exist anymore. So if we go back into our config folder, Go to routes, and then scroll down. You can see right here the default controller is set to welcome. We'll just change this to main. Save it, and then run. OK, right away. And then uh, you can see that our, we're loading the, lo the uh, main controller, and the index function of the main controller it loads the login view. Now, uh, I think we want to do this a little bit differently. Let's just get rid of some of this commented out code. That's nothing. Um, why don't we actually create a function that uh, a function that actually loads the, the logging view? We'll just call this login, and then what we'll do instead of instead in the index function is we'll actually just load the other function in this controller. So by doing that, we can just go this login. So essentially it's the same thing, it's just it's better practice to separate these. So you can see here we can also go login, or sorry, main, and the index function redirects to the login, but if I actually want to specify login, I can still go there, as well as index. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, now let's build the login view. Or uh, we just devoted time in this video, why don't, why don't I stop it and we'll actually start um, and we'll start actually building the login view in the next video. Thanks for watching.